It is a sunny summer afternoon in Brno and the day of the first gay and lesbian parade in the Czech Republic. For the whole society it's very important uh, to know who is uh, their minority. And so uh, when minority is visible, uh, then society is more tolerant. The Czech Republic was the first post-communist state to introduce civil partnerships for gay couples. The first gay wedding was two years ago and the occasion was marked by large celebrations. Some women on, on the wedding office ask our friends, why do you want ceremony? It's only sign on one paper of you and of your friend. Why do you want ceremony? And they answer because it's our lovely nice uh, day it's it's our day and we want to have uh, in memories when we did it because we wanted to to do it it was like sentence to all other people who are like us yes it's a great thing do the same in the past you'd never have seen this type of thing honestly i find it a bit strange <laughs> If gay people wish to live in that way, I have nothing against them getting married. It can help and it can enable uh, these people to show uh, their identity, to show uh, their emotions and I think it should be like this. We, we like it and I think that many people in Czech Republic, uh, they don't have problem with registered partnership. In 1990, there was a public poll on this issue. At that time, only 10% of the population supported our way of life and the civil partnership. Two years ago, when the law came into force, 70% of Czechs accepted it, and now 75% agree with gay partnerships. Romada and a small group of fellow activists have had a long struggle for social acceptance of homosexuals, but right-wing extremists often oppose them, this time with flyers. We have been planning the queer parade for quite a long time and now it's tiring with the nationalistic groups threatening the march. Their aggression is clear. They called their leaflet down with queers. Gays and lesbians are now construed as sexual minority. The equal treatment of minorities is a fundamental right ratified by EU treaties. Most Czechs welcome growing tolerance as an achievement of democracy. The church, however, is concerned. I wonder whether after 10, 20 years, the paedophiles will say, I want my rights, my sexuality. I have problems with my sexuality and heterosexuals and homosexuals have their rights. What about my rights? The question for me is, what is coming? Only 27% of Czechs are Catholic and the majority are not religious. Europe's increasing secularism is nowhere more pronounced than here. So in politics, the church does not carry much weight. In parliament, only the smallest party, the Christian Democrats, boasted unanimously against the gay partnership. We are the part of um, European People's Party, EPP, uh, and um, as, as such a party, we, we have to be against this law, of course. We have to support just the family, and this is the couple between man and woman, and we support it not because this is the connection between uh, man and woman, but because this is the place where we, we can find the healthy, growing, small children. The government and the state, like institution, 
have to support all who pay to the state. It's not about face. It's uh, it's about uh, system. Under communism, homosexuals lived hidden lives. Being different was too risky. That changed after the Velvet Revolution, but not immediately. Pop singer Pavel Vitek and his life partner and manager Janis Sivrovsky have had negative experiences. I cooperated uh, with uh, President Václav Havel and uh, some newspaper uh, asked me if uh, you know something about Mr. Havel, you must told us because uh, um, uh, another uh, way we will row Right. right about uh, your relationship with Paul. And we decide that uh, why not to say uh, uh, public uh, yes, it's so, and uh, if you do it, all problems are away. Do not hide, come out with pride. That was the slogan of the first parade, which was a few days ago. 500 people took part, which annoyed traditionalists in the Catholic and Orthodox churches. There is a place where is Sodoma. It was destroyed by God and uh, when people in Europe will live as Sodoma people, they will die. Right-wing extremists try to stop the parade by attacking. The ultra-right party are here, campaigning against the decline of traditional family values. Traditional family has a crisis not due to homosexuals, but due to changes in the society and uh, partnership of uh, homosexual people isn't a marriage because uh, it's impossible to adopt children in Czech Republic. A large police force breaks up the violent anti-gay campaigners. Gay pride marches are a barometer showing how seriously countries take protecting homosexuals. The organisers of the first gay pride parade in the Czech Republic are more than satisfied. You were a little bit negative, but you, you saw what happened, so we're happy because people support this event. That's great. It is a week later and Jelana and her partner Barbora are celebrating their wedding day. They take their vows at the registry office in Brno Town Hall. So far, about 600 same-sex couples in the Czech Republic have been registered for a civil union. Even if it's not legally on a completely equal footing with a heterosexual marriage they celebrate their wedding as one step towards a more equal society.